didn't connect with Fowler, and here comes Jack Eichel. Eichel the other way, feeds it across, moving to his left. Gibson with a good save, the rebound bounces over the stick of Marches, so. No stick for Gibson right now. It's all the way in the corner, and Barbashev feeds it to the right circle. Eichel rips it off the left shoulder. Room for Cotter at center. Former Western Michigan Bronco takes a shot. Gibson made the save rebound between the circles. Failed to clear the, the Ducks, however, as it's kept alive by Kolasar. Petrangelo's one-timer fought off by Gibson. Nice little bit of back-checking there by Silverberg. He denies entry not once, but twice. Now Hutton will just throw it in on net. It's gloved off by Gibson. But Anaheim able to get possession and bring it back the other way. Kalorn dumps it in and now pursues in the corner. Rolls off of Braden Pahal. Comes right to the goal mouth. And a good save made by Thompson there. Marcheseau had a hat trick on Thursday in the Vegas win at home against Winnipeg. Shares the team goal scoring lead with half a dozen. Barbashev leads Eichel out of the Vegas zone. Falling is Lacombe. Odd man situation as a result. And Barbashev finishes in the goal crease. Vegas strikes first. Well, you see the strength and the power of Jack Eichel. Just flat out dominant in that game, and he gets away from Jackson Lacombe. And look at this pass over the stick, lands flat. He sees Barbershev driving that far post, and he delivers just a beautiful strike. Barbershev, he just needs to keep that stick blade down on the ice and angle it upwards. It's a chip in for Barbershev. And sent the other way by Mark Stone. Gibson out to tap to the corners that came off the end wall. And a loose puck again, pounced on by Petrangelo, puts it on net, forcing Gibson. You, you have to have someone driving the middle of the ice to back off that defense. Enrique puts it behind the net, Silverberg joined by Zegers, right back to Silverberg. And another great A save by Logan Thompson. He's only made two saves in this game, they both from in, pin from in close. Gibson out to play it back in the Anaheim zone, and it's broken up by Carrier. Back to the line, room for Pahal, hands it off, Hutton from the dot. At 54%, he wins that one. Anaheim turns it over at the blue line, and Carlson got a lot on that shot. Good save by Gibson, and Carlson all over the Toronto as he tracks him back below the goal line and gets the puck back. But McTavish steals on the left boards and away to center, he comes. Anaheim's leading scorer carries it across the line. Still possesses in the corner, looks back. Safety valve is Labushkin at the line. Instead, he goes rink wide, and Mitnikoff's shot is blockered aside by Thompson to the line, kept in by Labushkin. And McNabb sweeps it ahead. William Carlson, two goals last night in the win against the Avalanche. Trying to sneak it ahead to Dorofiev, but that went off a skate. And coming back into the zone, it's Carlson. Snaps it ahead. Room for Terry, his long bid steered aside by Thompson. That's about as strategic a four-on-four four sequence as you'll see. Pass through the middle to Stevenson, drops it off. And Stone's shot tipped at the goal mouth by Cotter. Zegris comes away with it. Followed up by Carlson, hands it off to Terry. Terry, middle of the ice, too hot to handle. It went right through Zegris. Mitnikoff keeps it in off the side of the net. Terry brings it into the goal, Crease and Thompson. In the open ice by Sam Carrick, and then Troy Terry tries to jam it home from close range. Vegas, on the other hand, plus nine in second periods this year. Stone goes right up the middle of Bushkin, knocks it down, gets it on net. Thompson covers. Five minutes gone, second period. Fowler knocked his man down in the corner. We've yet to have a penalty in this game. Carlson rolls off the boards, gets the pass, and a good save by Gibson. Comb almost left it behind, and now Zegris does carry into the Vegas zone. Rink wide pass taken off the skate. Terry let it go. Perhaps the best save of the game by Thompson. So he's exactly. off to a, a better than decent start, I would characterize it as. So four on four, that means room for Eichel as he brings it in on right wing, and he scores! High short side. That is a big time shot by Eichel. You see, I, I, Jack Eichel's got the puck, and he's got a lean to the net. Fowler is pointing at the winger to pick him up, but he's on the wrong side of Eichel. So you're essentially letting just a superstar player move right in inside the dot and roof it. Uh -oh. So for Eichel, is third. 
knocked away by Eichel, and Carlson sends him away shorthanded. Eichel, stop by Gibson. That's huge. Well, what a stop by John Gibson. Carlson sends it ahead. He'll give and go, and he'll go behind the net to get it back from Vetrano. Chips it to the corner. Howden spun around there, and now Anaheim trying to outnumber the defenders in the corner. They come away with a puck. The open man, Fowler. His shot blocked. Got it back, and Henrik scores! The Ducks! a great stop with time winding down on the power play kind of a broken play the puck squirts free for Adam Henrique traffic in front throw the puck on the net it finds a again the activating defense of Vegas keeping pucks alive Hutton from behind the net rolled it in front got it back turns oh stoned by Gibson in the third They play catch across the top of the zone, popping out to help out. Ross Johnston out of Mitnikov. Nice pass in front, but it went off the heel of Leeson's stick. Ducks get it back. Mitnikov in front for Carrick. Score! Sam Carrick! It's a brand new game! And another point for Mitnikov. The zone. And they're all heading the wrong way when the puck turns over and Sam Carrick is wide open. And boy, he just opened up Logan Thompson. Watch the patience by Carrick. One, one little fake, and then he just taps it through the five hole. And just like that, the Ducks have come all the way back. This team has already got four comeback wins where they've trailed in the third period. Pulls up in the corner, pops it into the middle, it went through Vitrano, over to Mitnikov. He flips a backhander, tipped just wide by McTavish. That was a good creativity, McTavish has to get through the referee, but keeps possession. Out high, it's Mitnikov again. Vitrano, high slot, Labushkin, save to the rebound, shot wide again by McTavish. They score! Thrown in front, and Anaheim has their first lead. Mason McTavish, right at the top of the crease. Zone. They're the team with more energy. That was a good stop by Thompson, but get it right back out to him, and nobody can tie up the stick of Mason McTavish. Gets all his leverage on that stick blade and just swats it between the pads. And Anaheim comes all the way back and takes a one goal lead here late. The one they call him. up the boards, kept at the point by Theodore. His pass broken up along the boards by Fowler. Eichel embroiled with Terry, and it's brushed the length of the ice again by Carrick, and it's in! Off the post and in! That's a good goal in any league! Battle for possession along the boards. Everyone's hacking away at it. Eichel can't control it. And there's the flip by Carrick. I, I guarantee you he had no intention of putting that puck on the net. The Ducks will take it. That puck just curled off the inside of the post, and look at the bench reaction. They come to their feet at Honda Center, and rightfully so. The Golden Knights have not lost in regulation in the regular season in their last 20 games. But tonight, the Ducks with four goals in the third period erase a two-goal deficit.